Hey guys, Gimme Go Gamer here, bringing you another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video. So today I just wanted to talk about the item printer, my thoughts on it, and why I think it's really, really good here. Um, I know that for me personally, the I, I definitely overlooked this thing when it, the Indigo Disc first dropped. Um, I just thought that the drops weren't that good, it seemed like it was going to be too hard to use, um, and it just would take too long, but now that I've actually tried it out myself and upgraded it all the way, I love this thing. It's, it's so, so good. The items you get from it are amazing. Um, and especially right now too with the ace academy tournament all the trainers got buffed so it's gonna be a little bit harder to farm that i am gonna do a video talking about that soon but it's just kind of hard to find like a good pokemon to take down the ace academy tournament with that like turbo method that i talked about in one of my other videos so i definitely wanted to talk about this in the meantime because this, this is something that anybody with the indigo disc can do um and it's really really easy to use um so this is going to be kind of a quick guide and then why i think it's actually really good here um First of all, I just want to point out too, I'm going to go into my bag here. Um, this is absolutely insane. Now keep in mind, I have a lot of ability patches from like like doing mass, like making it a Master Ball tier. I've done most of the battle seasons and then I've done a few seven star terror raid events like here and there, although I kind of got lazy with those. I really just talked about the ones that I think are really important. Um, but if we go down here um, to my ability patches, I think I had like 11 before I started using the item printer. And just from doing this like like two rounds, I already have 36. Like I'm never gonna run out of these things now, and it's absolutely amazing. Um, the, the ability patches are so so hard to get your hands on with only be able to like get them from six star uh, raids or different raid events um, outside of like 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 the the master ball tier rewards or other kind of mystery gifts and stuff like that. Um, and I think that that's like the big one to use the item printer for here. Um, it's, it's absolutely crazy. Um, and also if I take a look at my terror shards too, yeah, it's a little bit inconvenient to like farm for terror shards. And especially if you have the, the, the charm for it, for beating the Pokedex or the, like the, the teal mask DLC, it's really not that bad to farm for those. Um, but that can be kind of a hassle, but if you do this enough, you're just going to get hundreds and hundreds of terror shards and never really run out of these things, right? Um, I definitely did not have this many going into this. I think I like had like a little bit over 100 in a few of these categories and stuff like that, just from some of the the, the like the last Blissey Raid event I did. Um, but I am just absolutely loaded now, and it's it, it's absolutely crazy here. On top of that, you're getting lots of um, treasure just to uh, sell for money, um, which I'm pretty much just going to only be using for like like the vitamins and stuff to power up Pokemon uh, for like competitive or for raid builds and stuff like that. Um, but it's, you just you get so many good items here. Um, you also get like all the evolutionary items, which it's nice just to have a surplus of those, so that if you want one of those Pokemon or whatever, you can get it. Um, and then outside of that, I mean, like those, like that's like, like the big reason to use it, right? You're getting terror shards, but then the ability patches is just absolutely insane. Um, and it's just a good source of money. Um, you are getting some of the medicine too here. So I think that like just from doing this, I, if you just take the time to do this and, and run it for a little bit, um, you're just going to get all the items that you need to have competitively viable Pokemon while also getting Terra Shards, and I think just getting everything you need all in one shot is what makes this thing so so good to use here. Uh, but how do we use this thing? So when you first get this, um, once you unlock the, le um, the, the League uh, Club Room, you can go to this computer here and pay uh, Blueberry Points to get this item printer unlocked. Um, I recommend doing this as soon as possible, or at least once you beat the Indigo Disc. Um, I know I'm working on upgrading this. After you print these items here, you're just gonna talk to this lady, um, and she's gonna ask like, hey, what do you wanna print? I almost always do 10 print jobs here, and by doing that, um, then uh, it's gonna print 10 items. The more and more you do this, then you're gonna have the ability to upgrade it with more blueberry points. I forget how how much the um, the upgrades are. I know like the like the last one is like 200, and then it goes up to like like a thousand, I think, to get like the master ball tier. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not that hard to the, farm the blueberry points. And then I'd also recommend like having about a thousand blueberry points just to use this. Um, a thousand and like for like one go is gonna give you a lot of good items. It's gonna give you. Like on average for me, I got like about like two million plus um, Poke Coins um, just for running this um, for about a thousand BP from, uh, from all the treasure and stuff you get, and then you're also getting the, like the, the vitamins, you're getting ability patches, um, and a lot of other really good items too. Um, now you can just do the um, auto, the auto print. And it's just gonna like pull from like the, the the resources you have the most amount of items from here. 
Um, and you can see some Pokemon are definitely better than others. Um, as far as percentages go, though, I think that Hippini Dust is just like the easiest to farm, um, and it's going to give you like the most too um, for your print jobs. So I definitely think this is the way to go here. Um, and we're going to talk now about how to like farm the Hippini Dust. So let's go ahead and uh, show you that really quick, um, and then we'll go back to the item printer uh, here. So. Um, to farm the Hippini Dust here, we're going to head back actually into Paldea. Um, so let's go to the entrance here. And then how we're going to want to do this too, um, I, I think some people have done like experience guides on this. I don't think it's that important anymore. Um, but just because like from doing raid events and stuff like that, you get so much experience candy. Oh, that's the other thing you get too from, from the item printers. You get a ton of experience candy too. Like I'm absolutely loaded on my experience candy. Um, you're just going to get a lot of like extra large and large and even the medium start to add up. Um, and it's it's really really nice. So you are literally just getting everything you need um, to set yourself up to have competitive Pokemon or to train like to have like good like Pokemon to take down raid events and whatever, whatever you may want to uh, use it for here. But we're gonna go all the way back up here to the top of the map um, and fly um, fly to this this spot here in the North Providence, and then we're gonna set up a picnic. Um, and I just like to do like anything with like. Uh, normal encounter, uh, normal encounter like one is, is usually enough, and like you get a bunch of uh, chancy and blissy to show up here. Um, there's a few of the sandwiches too, I think that um, are just pre-made that that have that here. So that's what we'll probably end up doing. Um, you don't need to go crazy with it here. Uh, I'm just gonna come down here so that we can actually set up a picnic, and because um, I think it's kind of like on a slope there, which is a little bit annoying, but. If I go into my um, picnic here, and then make a sandwich, and I, I know I know there's a few. The one I'm just gonna do, I think it's sandwich eighty. This one, um, it's it, the, the ingredients are pretty cheap too. I usually like for sandwiches I make a lot. Um, I end up just going to the store and like buying like. At least like a hundred of each ingredient if I know if I'm going to be doing this a lot here. So we'll just throw these on really fast. Really easy sandwich to make. Boom. Boom. Get rid of that. Throw the pick. Beautiful. Um, and what this is going to do is just give us that normal encounter um, one. Um, and then we're going to have tons of Blissey, tons of Chansey showing up here. And then we're going to auto battle those. Uh, now, the effects of this are going to last 30 minutes, like all other sandwiches. And usually if you just farm this within that amount of time, like the 30 minutes, even if you have like zero Hippie Dust, you can get up to 999 where you're going to get maxed out. Um, and I think that's definitely the way to go here. So... And we we'll head down here, and sometimes it takes a second. Whoops! Didn't mean to run into you. Um, you will want like like a, a decent Pokemon to do auto battle with too, but yeah, we can start taking these guys out. And so like Chansey, I think give you like two to three Hippini dust, and then the Blissey are gonna give you. Um, is it always four or is it three to four? Four. Okay, yeah, so it's gonna be like three to four. Um, but it's insane. This, this, I mean, stacks up really, really fast here. And so we can just do this for about a half an hour. We're gonna get maxed out um, and then go back into the uh, item printer. Um, and, and usually I like to have at least about a thousand blueberry points. Um, so let's go and hop back over there really quick. Alrighty, and here, here we are back by the item printer again. Um, and I'm just gonna show you how I like to do this here. So um, going back, I wanna print an item here. Oh, and the other nice thing too, I, I forgot to talk about this, is you're going to have a chance to get that Pokeball Auto, and you're going to get those really rare Pokeballs too. Um, I'll, I'll include a link in the description of the video uh, with the drops, so you know like kind of like the rates of the items you're going to get here. Uh, but once I've farmed up a bunch of Peony Candy, what I like to do, because uh, it's annoying, you always get set, like put up to the top here. You can just press the X button, and just like auto selects like the highest amount of resources you have. Um, and that's pretty much like if you have like hundreds of an item, 
it's just going to always default to only using that item. So if we farmed a bunch of the Hapini candy like we did a second ago here, um, then we're just going to be good. Just keep spamming that. And I usually just do this because it's, it's gets kind of long just to kind of like scroll down to the Hapini candy and select it every single time. That gets kind of um, tedious, but if you just do the auto select, um, it works out really, really well. And see, like right there, we just got 20 Dragon Terra Shards and a bunch of other good stuff. Um, and I, I just want to prove to you, like, if I have a lot of Hapini candy, yes, it will always default. I wish it would actually show you, like, like the first item that it, it defaults to, but because sometimes it pulls from different um, item pools, um, it won't always do it. So we see the Hapini candy, or the Hapini dust just got collected, um, auto-selected there. And if we scroll through the rest of our items, we have, like, 400 of it right now. Um, but we go through the rest of the items here, and nothing else is selected, because that's the one we have the most of. Um, once you start getting down a little bit lower resources, like you can see, like I have a lot of Scyther Claws because I had a, a, a Scizor outbreak the other day, and so I was trying to shiny hunt for him. Um, it'll start pulling for some of those, but honestly, like even if you try to save some of these resources to have good TMs, you know, I, I will do that. Like Scyther Candy um, gets you um, one of the things you need for Sword Stance, which is the TM I use quite a bit. So. Uh, just just being aware of that you got to be careful so you don't blow through all your resources But the nice thing is by doing the auto select even if you run out of that happy candy or running low It's gonna start pulling from all of them pretty evenly. Um, so you're gonna be pretty safe um, And I would just recommend like checking this every once in a little bit here after a couple print jobs uh, But you're gonna be amazed at how far just like that like 999 happy dust will actually get you how many prints it will get you here um, I will say that like if you have friends to play with to farm BP, it's gonna be a lot easier for you. Um, I had to save up all the BP to unlock all the different like habitats on my own, and that was not a fun process. Oh, and PP ups too. Sometimes you get PP maxes, which is incredible, right? Um, it just saves you so much time. I, like if I make a whole competitive team um, and I'm doing them all at the same time. It is so boring to just go and use PP up, PP up, PP up every single time on every single move um, that I want to use it on. Uh, but the PP maxes just save you so much time. So the fact that you get an abundance of those from doing this over and over again too is, is going to be awesome, right? You're getting all the competitive held items that you may want to run. Um, it's just, it's, it's a really, really awesome machine here. Um, and so I can just kind of like, I can show you really fast how fast I can do this here. I auto print, boom. And then I'm gonna go right into the next print and I can just do this over and over again. It's not gonna take that long, probably in like five minutes. I can go through about a thousand BP of prints. I'm gonna get a ton of good items. Um, I can go out, farm some more BP. So I, I know this is a little bit roundabout. It's not like an AFK thing that you can do like with the Ace Academy tournament. But in the meantime, until I talk about um, a good Pokemon to deal with, with that, this is just such a good thing that's going to give you all the items you need right there. Two, two golden bottle caps. Like, it's amazing. Um, and some Terra Shards and some other things, some candy. Um, it's just absolutely incredible. So I definitely would try, like, recommend at least trying this out once. See if this is something you want to use. Um, I, I know it's not for everybody. It's not everybody's cup of tea. And there are definitely other ways to farm these items. But just having it all in one, one thing here. Um, it's not that bad. You use a normal encounter sandwich or the peony dust, um, do it for about a half an hour, farm up some BP, it doesn't take that long, and then you can run this and you're going to get everything you need, cool balls to catch shiny Pokemon or whatever you want to do, right? Um, so go ahead and have fun with this. Um, I hope this helped, and thank you so much for watching. This is Chemical Gamer out.